What is up everybody, Bootman here, and we are back with another Marvel Snap video. And in this video, I'm gonna show you 16, that's right, 16 different decks that have helped people get infinite within the first week of this new Guardians of the Galaxy Nebula season. It's actually more than 16 because a couple people uh, posted a couple decks. But anyways, anyways, I'm gonna show them to all of you. I hope you're having a great season so far. But if you would like to hit infinite, these are proven decks, all right? but. Before we get started, if you're new here, hi, my name is Chris. I also go by Bootman. And if you love Marvel Snap as much as I do, especially the competitive aspect, ranking up the ladder, learning a different deck, card strategies, all that, make sure you subscribe, ring that notification bell. We are on the road to 10,000 subscribers. Would love to hit it by next month. So make sure you subscribe. And I promise to provide you with some valuable content. Plus, we have an amazing Discord server down in the description below. And by being a subscriber, you can also enter our monthly giveaway where I give away three season passes for free every single month. All right, but you gotta be subscribed and you also gotta follow me on Twitter. My Twitter is down in the description below at BootmanMSTZ. Everything you need is down in the description below, all right? So every single season, like I love just like scouting out, finding different decks, everything like that. So I've always kept lists of every single deck I see. Twitter is a main place where I am and I'm finding different deck ideas, having conversations, all that kind of stuff. It's also where I like to vent and rant about this silly game sometimes. I'm currently uh, sitting at rank 96. I got to rank 99, but we'll talk about that at another time. But anyways, I keep these lists. So the list for this will be down in the description below, okay? I keep a Google document with all these decks. I try to add on to it throughout the season, at least the first week or two, all right? So you don't have to like go back and rewind this. If you see decks that you uh, enjoy or think look cool on here, these are all in order. So when uh, you click on the list, you'll see all the different links and everything like that for Twitter, all right? Let's jump into this. All right, so first up, we have Revis. And by the way, as I go through this, I'll kind of like show you the deck and give you my opinions on it and stuff. Some of these I've tested out some of the I haven't. But anyways, Revis. So one thing you got to know about Revis and a couple other people that we're going to go over in the first few slots, uh, just a little caveat. They're all amazing players, but keep in mind, these guys have hit like rank 400, 500 in the past. So they do face a significant amount of bots. Some of them do, some of them don't. So just keep that in mind because you might have some different results. All right. So Revis's deck right here, it looks like a uh, uh, like a Nebula Hit Monkey deck, all right? And it has Mojo in it and Moon Girl. So <clears throat> this deck, actually, I didn't, I, I totally forgot this is the deck Revis used. So this is a deck I've been meaning to try. This deck works. This deck is gangster, all right? So I have not tried it yet. How do I know it's a gangster deck? Because I lose to it on the regular, all right? Uh, I've been playing a lot of the stature deck, and when this deck comes up, it is very, very tough to beat. You have like a little bit of uh, junk, just like randomly in there with Green Goblin and Titania. You got Mojo in there um, in case uh, people either fill up a lane or you could scare them from filling up a lane. You got some decent power, plus you got Moon Girl. Moon Girl can copy all sorts of stuff. You can get two copies of Hit Monkey. You got Quinjet to reduce Hit Monkey down to one. This is a great deck, and it's like, been on my list of things to try. The other day I tweeted, I was like, what deck is this that people are using with Moon Girl? Because it's driving me nuts. Then I went and I looked at it on untapped.gg and this was the deck. So, all right, so cool. So Revis, like, I, I remember last season I posted Revis's deck and people were like, oh, I'm not doing well with it. This deck, I know is good because it has been stomping over me. So if you've been having trouble against the stature deck, maybe give this one a try, all right? Next up, we have my boy Lambi. So Lambi is a Thanos lover. Like he's one of the top Thanos players out there. But this season, uh, he hit infinite with the stature deck. Dope. So this is just, so, okay, cool. This is a deck I've been meaning to try, meaning to try. So this is the, the standard uh, stature deck, except, except he has Shuri in here. So instead of, uh, who is it usually? It's usually Enchantress. So instead of Enchantress, he has Shuri. I've been meaning to try it. I've run into something similar to this a couple times. There's a version like this that's actually playing um, Taskmaster, I believe. I'm not sure if I have it on here, but I have run into a similar deck like this. And when you're going up against mirror matches for the stature build, like it's kind of a pain because they are able to get out like a what is it like a 16 power like uh black bolt or like a really high power um stature or spider-man depending on just i mean uh, miles morales depending on how the game goes this is uh, a pretty solid deck i've yet to try this build yet 
So next up we have Get Wrecked. Get Wrecked, I know he uh, he plays a lot with um, Cam Best and like battle mode and stuff. So I think he's one of the higher up people when it comes to MMR. So Spider-Verse Lockdown. All right, so this this is pretty solid. I've um I've been experimenting with some of these lockdown type decks. Uh, I like this version. I might actually give this a try because um, I've been testing out some different versions with like Daredevil and Storm and stuff like that. This one actually doesn't have Nebula. So if you have Nebula, you might want to consider um, swapping Nightcrawler uh, for Nebula just because when you toss down Nebula and then you're able to storm the lane, you can get some free extra power, especially like on the last uh, two turns if you storm on three and you have Nebula down on one. But uh, yeah, this looks this looks pretty solid as well. All right, next up we have Den. He's one of the um, uh, the main dudes over at Marvel Snap Zone. And which deck was this? This might be the deck. This might be the deck that I was just talking about where I see Shuri with um, Taskmaster. So yeah, so this has Sunspot, Nebula, and Nightcrawler. So Nightcrawler and Polaris are enablers for Miles Morales. A lot of people have been using Jeff. So if you have Jeff, you can swap out Nightcrawler with this one. Um, but yeah, here's Shuri. There's the Taskmaster. So you can Shuri. So check this out. You can Shuri into Black Bolt, right? Then you can drop Taskmaster and Stature, which is pretty cool. All right. Then you also have the different route of doing like Shuri floating on five. Like say you didn't get the draws you needed. And then you could do, um, She-Hulk and Taskmaster. Okay. And it has armor there as well. I played against this deck last night and it just drove me bonkers because i was playing my ghost build and they floated and just ghost did not come out because that's one of the main reasons i wanted uh ghost like i was uh wanted to use ghost because i was i kept thinking about i'm like so many shuri players are floating turn five losing priority and then you can't do anything to them right um so when you have ghost it doesn't matter uh but yeah this is a deck i i would love to try as well all right, so this one comes uh, from, what is this, Golaluch? Nearly 150 matches and day two infinite, not bad. So I used, da, 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 so we used the Statue Miles deck from 70 to 86, and then from 96 to 100, um, in the middle, used the Shuri build. So this one is, yeah, so this is the standard list, except Nightcrawler. Um, some people are using uh, Nebula. I've been using Ghost, but yeah, this is a basic shell of it, and yeah, very, very good. And what's his Shuri list? Is it just a regular Shuri list? Uh-huh, uh-huh, Shuri. Oh, okay, he's got like some rocket in here for Nebula. Got Shuri, Captain Marvel. Hmm. Okay, and Stature and Black Ball. Looks pretty decent. All right, this season, we're seeing some good decks on this list. We're seeing some really good decks. All right, so this person used three decks. They started with Sarah, Sarah, then did Stature Miles Swarm. What's that? And then um, Stature's List, but I don't own Darkhawk. So he used Crossbones. Interesting. Okay, so let's see. Um, so Scuff Stature. So this has Crossbones. So if you don't have Darkhawk, there you go. So yeah, this is totally different, right? This is interesting. Like people might not expect this because it's not using Korg or Rock Slide. So it might throw people off. And then it's got Shuri in here. Um, then, yeah, the Monkey Sarah list. Sarah has been another uh, challenging deck to go up against with um, with stature for me. Now, what is this? So here's another stature list. So this looks kind of like more of an old old school stature list. How old can you get? Because stature is like a newer card. But yeah, so you got Colleen Wing in here to tag Storm. You got Moon Knight in here. So you have Moon Knight as a second enabler for stature. I, I like it. Like, so one of the cool things, like I've played so much of this deck, right? One of the cool things is like Black Bolt not only enables stature, but it disrupts the opponent, right? Like you take out one of their cards, um, depending on the situation, like you can really screw them up because Black Bolt hits their lowest cost card, right? But since I've played a lot of stature mirrors and I'm using Ghost, um, I go second. So my Black Bolt will hit their stature, which is phenomenal, right? But with Moon Knight, Moon Knight in there, Moon Knight can hit any of their cards in their hand, right? But the problem is Moon Knight also hits one of your cards, so you're kind of gambling, okay? But this is uh, this is a pretty cool list. Uh, okay, next up, let's see, Cube Bait. What's this deck? All right, so this looks like, 
Oh, so we got a hella discard. So all of you discard loving people out there. You've been following me on Twitter. Like I've been, I have been having trouble against so many discard decks, right? I played, I, I finally decided, I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll try this. I'll try this Dr Dracula discard deck. So it wasn't a hella one. Um, and I don't know. I don't know what it is. It's, it's luck. It's luck. I know what it is. Okay. I don't want to get all superstitious on you. We are scientifically minded thinkers here. It was just bad luck, but I play a discard deck and it is just nothing good happens. Nothing. I, I, I literally lost every game, lost every game, Did not win one. It was a Dracula one. So if you're a fan of discard, go for it. But these things, these things are like the plague for me. Like they just like, I just bled cubes. I was just bleeding cubes. And I'm like, well, I'll give it, I'll give it a few more tries and just nothing was working. So if you like discard, have fun with this. All right. All right. So this is uh Daniel's deck. So this is another lane lockdown deck. So we got Nebula, we got Goose. Really love Goose. I love Goose so, so much. I'm always staring at my decks. I'm like, can I squeeze Goose in here? Like Goose is such a phenomenal card. Such a phenomenal card. Um, I have played a version similar, similar to this list. I played quite a bit of it over the weekend and it's really, really solid, right? Because you have the lockdown with Storm, you got Goose, Okay, you can uh, float and get She-Hulk in under Goose. You can put Jessica Jones over on Storm. You can also go the route of uh, just the Doom wave, right? You wave and then uh, She-Hulk and Doctor Doom on the last turn. Great list, great, great, great list. Uh, next up, Ground Control. So this, we got a little Nebula. Okay, cool. Uh, we have Iceman, Nightcrawler, and Jeff. So this is interesting, Nightcrawler and Jeff, but I don't see a Miles. So you got a couple different options. Like you have, I don't know, you have a lot of options to get into the Storm location, right? Like you have Jeff, Nightcrawler, and Doctor Doom. Um, Blue Marvel, interesting, Ironheart, okay. Quake, oh my God, I have like a trauma response to Quake. Over the weekend, uh, Nexus was the hot location and people were doing all sorts of silly stuff. And I finally went to like a, uh, a, a She-Hulk Infinite deck, and I was just, I was winning a ton, but then I lost like three eight cube games from just the most surprising things that I didn't expect. And one of them was somebody dropping Quake and just switching the location of Nexus, and oh my Lord. But anyway, this looks interesting. I'm uh, optimistically skeptical of it. If you wanna give it a try, go for it. Um, yeah, I just find it interesting. This is, this is just an interesting deck. This is an interesting, interesting deck list. Uh, but yeah, if you want to give it a try, go for it. I might try it. Maybe post infinite. I don't know. It just looks like there's a lot of just random things going on, right? Like you have some cool stuff in here, right? Like you got Nebula, Storm, and you got two things that can get it. You know, you have a lot of things that can get it in the Storm location, right? You got Quake to do some weird stuff. Then Maria Hill. I've never been a fan of Maria Hill. I use it for a while in the Dark, uh, the Dark Hawk Dino deck. Um, it, it just wasn't a thing for me. Arrow, I think Arrow still does have a place. Um, it depends though, because some people are running Sarah, some people are running Hitmonkey, um, even the Stature deck, like people are dumping a lot on the sixth turn, but I have been screwed over by Arrow a few times and it might be luck because it's all dependent on what order the other person drops them in. But anyways, go ahead and give this a try. Looks interesting and maybe, maybe it just catches people off guard. That is one thing about decks like this. I've never seen it. So you might catch some people off guard with it. All right, we got a good cards deck. Um, I need to try this deck. So speaking of Dark Dino, here it is. Okay, this is one iteration. Mine had uh, um, Cosmo and Super Scroll in here. I think, I'm sad to say it, everybody. I think Super Scroll's Time to Shine was last season. I keep thinking about it. I'm just like, I don't know if Super Scroll's gonna be that great. But this is just a typical Dark uh, Dark Hawk Dino deck. I, I keep wanting to just go back to this list. Very strong, very powerful. Um, you have Dark Hawk, you have Dino, you have Mystique that can copy each. You can uh, get some intel with White Queen. You got Colson in here. Zabu lowers um, the cost of the four drop. You got Quinjet. Quinjet didn't do much for me, but I also wasn't running Moon, Moon Girl in my list. So... Do your thing, but this this is solid. I wanna I wanna try it this season and see how it holds up. Uh, the only issue is with that one is a lot of people are running um, Enchantress, so I might like 
in my version, I would definitely swap out either Sentinel or Quinjet for uh, Cosmo. So you can guard that thing. All right. Uh, all right. Next up. This list. Um, what was this? Oh, yeah. This is a Lockjaw list. These decks have been pretty decent. It's a Lockjaw and it also has uh, Dracula in it. They've been pretty solid. Dracula is such amazing a card. Like I said, like when I'm running discard, it just does not work for me. The main reason is because I never draw Dracula. I never draw Dracula. And if I do, I have like 18,000 things in my hand. So like, I don't know. If you want to go do it, go for it. But with this, like if you draw Dracula, you have like a really high probability. But um, yeah, these decks have been decent. And you know what, you know what too about Lockjaw? Like since... Lockjaw has been played less since his nerf, like it only cycles the first card. I have lost a couple games to Lockjaw decks just because I keep forgetting that they changed his functionality. So I'll be like, oh, well, they're gonna, you know, even if they drop two things on Lockjaw, it's gonna be random, so maybe they won't get lucky, right? But the second thing stays. So it'll catch people off guard. Or maybe I'm just a dumb dumb. who knows? All right, Moon Girl in front. I like, I like what I'm seeing. We got a little bounce action up in here. I have run into this list. That's interesting. I ran into this list. I was not expecting it because Carnage came out. I'm like, what the hell is this, right? It was this right here. Um, so yeah, yeah, I like this. It has some uh, bounce. It has Moon Girl. You got Enchantress in here. Um, what was I thinking? You got Quinjet too. Might be interesting, might be interesting, because you can get She-Hulk, double She-Hulk too. I like this, I like this. This is, this is one I would definitely try out. There's a lot of really interesting decks this season. All right, this fellow content creator, KK Sparkles, and you guys, all right. So, she's running a Nebula Darkhawk deck, but my girl, my girl hit infinite with Orca, okay? Now, this is post-buff Orca. Orca, yo, Orca is a 611, okay? like. Are you guys following me? Orca is a 6'11", now that they buffed him, okay? So just dropping Orca on turn six is kind of bonkers. Like, it's kind of nuts, all right? So if you drop Sarah on turn five, what's interesting is, like, if there was, like, another, like, crazy two drop in here or something, you could drop it with Orca, Orca so you could drop two on turn five. But, yeah, go check out KK Sparkles. I know she was streaming with this thing. But this looks pretty interesting. Like, this is one that I would definitely try out. Like, I've been wanting to try Orca out because, like, I've lost some games to some Orcas, and I'm just like, like, it's 11 power, right? Like, you're sitting there, and you're like, okay, I don't think they're running Magneto, right? Like, 12 power. But then they drop 11 power on you, and you're like, oh, okay. Like, my concern with Orca is Orca's, like, huge buff comes from sitting on a lane by himself, right? And it's like... I, I don't know. Like, you could do it, like, surprisingly on the final turn, but there's a lot of control going out and stuff like that. So right now, it just seems like he's just, like, a turn six. Like, surprise, I got a bunch of power here. But, yeah, KK Sparkles did it. So I trust her. I might I might give this deck a, a deck a spin. Okay, next we have Dara's List. So I was watching Dara. Dude, the first day of the season, the first day of the season, Dara was playing this deck, and, like, what time does this new season start? It starts, like, Eight, eight o'clock Pacific time. I think there is East Coast, right? So it drops, he's playing it. I was up late that night. I'm watching him. He was playing it for hours and hours and hours. I forgot how high he got, right? But anyways, I go to sleep. I go to sleep, get my beauty rest. I wake up in the morning. This fool is still streaming and he's in the 90s because he was trying to hit the day, uh, like the first like just session, like infinite. And uh, yeah, he like stalled out. I have not tried this list yet, um, but I want to. I want to because I was watching him play it. I still think this deck is good. It's solid. I've been running an iteration of this deck, and I'm going to give you guys a surprise 17th deck, okay? Because I can't believe I forgot to add one on here because I, I'm running a, I, I, I played a lot with a similar deck to this. So this is great. Now, what I will say, and I'll discuss a little bit more in the next deck, I don't think you need armor. I do not think you need armor. The the amount of I, I think I think it was overestimated how many killmongers would be out there. Maybe your experience is uh different than mine, but I have I think maybe once, maybe once. I've played hundreds of games this season so far. 
I think maybe once a Killmonger took out my Nebula. Just once. Like, if if you want to run, like, armor for, like, other things, like, high power stuff, like, I don't know if you're, like, Gamora gets, like, you know, up to 12 power or whatever. But it, like, I I have not had, like, Killmonger issues with any Nebula decks I'm running. All right? But I'm going to give you a surprise uh, 17th deck before I forget. It is from... Ba-ba-da-ba. Nina. So Nina is a fellow content creator. I saw her post a deck. Where is it? Did you not post a deck list, girl? All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. She made a video on it. Here you go. So we'll just we'll just we'll just queue up the video real quick. Everyone, Nina, here. All right, there's Nina. All right, so here here's the list right here. All right. So <clears throat> excuse me, I'm still getting over a cold. This is similar to Dara's list. It doesn't have um. It doesn't have Magneto. It utilizes Claw as Maximus. This deck I've been playing, and it's been pretty solid. It's been pretty solid, okay? Because you have Claw to get in the Storm Lane. You also have Jeff to get in the Storm Lane um, or any other lockdown lane. You have Juggernaut to bump him out. You have Maximus just for some extra power. I like the inclusion of Maximus in here since uh, there are a lot of people running Dracula discard. So Maximus is literally the only counter to um to Dracula. Maybe Magneto. Maybe you could say Magneto is a counter to Dracula, but Maximus, solid counter to Dracula. Um, but the issue is, I like it, but the issue is when I'm playing it, like Maximus is always coming out before turn six. So it's like, if you're shoving cards into their hand, yeah, it can make more of an issue, but if they're running uh, Modoc, you know what I mean? He's just gonna get rid of them anyways. So um, maybe I need to watch her video again and see like if she, or watch some of her stream, see how she handles uh, Dracula decks. Like I might just start holding Maximus. But anyways, this deck was working very well for me, but like, I, I wish I I wish I was documenting with what matches I was losing. Um, it was just weird stuff. It was like, um, I played against like a stature deck where like I dropped Storm and they just dumped a ton of stuff into the Storm lane. It was weird, but anyways, as you can see, Nina has armor in here too. And again, oh yeah, I love that Cosmos in here. I love that Cosmos in here. Galactus players are not happy because you got a few things to do. You got Spider-Man, Professor X. So anyways, armor's in here. I played like a lot of games with this deck and um, armor just wasn't doing anything for me still. So what I ended up doing was slotting in Gamora and Gamora definitely won some games for me definitely won some games for me. I just don't know if she is the best option. Um, so maybe I, I think this is a flex spot. The other one is, man, like I just, I don't know what it is, but people use Juggernaut and just absolutely wreck me. When I use Juggernaut, it's just like, eh, eh. It's like, meh, a little surprise. But um, I really like this deck too, though, because like when you're playing against, um, or when you're playing those games where it is just, location hell like this deck is crazy right like we i played a game where there was like sanctum sanctorum and like another location that you couldn't get into and like i just had jeff and i had claw uh because it was the two right locations so the left lane was the one that we could play on and i snapped and just like they couldn't do anything um a lot of people do have jeff though but anyways, this is a phenomenal deck. Armor, um, armor. I think it's a flex spot in here, but I really, really, really like this deck. All right, so surprise, 17 decks. So here is the final uh, the final deck list. So this is, this is it. This is my hell. <laughs> this is the deck I used last night. This deck is working so well for a lot of other people. It has a newly buffed collector. Um, some people aren't playing Collector. There's a Moon Girl version of this as well. Uh, all sorts of stuff, right? This deck, when I play against it, destroys me, right? Because you can Nebula and then Storm that lane. People are also doing Morbius and then Storming that lane, right? You got Collector for when Modoc happens. It feels like every time I play against this deck, like I was like, I was like, all right, I don't like this card, but I'm gonna play this deck. I'm just gonna win. I'm gonna hit Infinite. Nothing bad can happen. Because I've played against this deck so many times and holy crap maybe i'll make a video on it 
Maybe I'll make a video just so you can see everything that can go wrong with this deck. When I play against it, like 90% of the time I'm retreating because I'm just like everything laid out, right? Like just the perfect, just perfect curve, perfect curve, right? Like it's just like turn one, Nebulous, turn two, Morbius, then they drop Storm, okay? Then they'll do like, uh, then they'll do like Collector and Culling Wing, right? And then, uh, or they'll, I don't know, they get Dracula down, and then Modoc comes out, and they're Apocalypse. Like, me, I just won't have Dracula, I won't have Apocalypse, and you're just kind of sitting there with, like, mediocre power. You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, yeah, it was just not good. I, I'm telling you, I lost literally every game. You're like, Chris, you won one game, right? You won, no, it was no games. I tweeted it. I tweeted my record of this deck. So, uh, yeah, great deck, but, I like making videos showing some of the top decks. So I, I, I really want to make a video on this, maybe after Infinite because it just lost me so many cubes. But I like to show you guys what can go wrong. And for some reason, I just have terrible luck with this deck. So I'll, I'll be your guinea pig. I'll show you in case you're considering trying it. But it's just, it's just so interesting to me how you can face decks and see how just amazing they are. And then you try it and you're like, wow, I didn't even know things can go that wrong. Like I played against this deck so many times, I had no idea what could go wrong with this deck, but I did it, I managed to do it. All right, but anyway, anyway, so that is 17 decks. All these decks hit infinite in the first week. These were all found on Twitter. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, at BoomMetMSCZ. Twitter is a great place to not only just like, uh, you know, chat and, and uh, have conversations with the amazing Marvel Stop community, but, this is where I get a ton of ideas for different decks I'm using, all right? We also have a ton of people hitting infinite in our Discord server. I have a, a, a whole channel in there just for people hitting infinite, so I will make a video uh, once I get a few more decks in there um, of people hitting infinite from our amazing Discord server, all right? But don't forget, this entire list is down in the description below. I need to add um, Nina's video on that before I forget. But anyways, this entire uh, Google Doc is down below. You can check it, you can come back to it, bookmark it, whatever. Check out the deck list, do your thing, boo. All right, um, me personally, I've been climbing to infinite. I've, I've been testing a lot of these decks, like I said, but um, my primary climb has been with the, the stature list. Um, I have a lot of fun with it. Like, I think I think I just realized I love Darkhawk. Like, I've, I've been thinking about it a lot, like, Every season, like even after Darkhawk got nerfed, I love that card. I love it. I love it so much. Uh, maybe I just like throwing rocks at people. I don't know what it is. But um, anyways, uh, I'm gonna still try to hit infinite with that deck. I really wanna hit infinite with Ghost in my deck so I can say I did it. Uh, so yeah. So anyways, that's all I got. Thanks so much for watching. Um, but before you take off, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Help us get to 10,000 subscribers. All right, I promise to keep giving you amazing content. It's a win-win situation, baby. All right, join our Discord server down in the description below. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at BootmanMSTZ, so you can be part of our monthly giveaways where I give away three season passes for free every single month. All right, so that's all I got. Have an amazing rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one.